Welcome to Agrabah, City of Mystery, of Enchantment, of the finest merchandise this side of the River Jordan. I can see that you are only interested in the exceptionally rare. I think then you would be most rewarded to consider this. Like so many things, it is not what it is out what is outside, but what is inside that counts. This lamp once changed the course of a young man's life. Oh god, I'm gonna screw this up so bad. <laughs> After all my years of searching, at last, the Cave of Wonders. Now remember, the rest of the treasure is yours, but the lamp is mine. Of course, that's Gazim that's on the horse over there. Where the fuck is the controller? I didn't have all this prepared. <laughs> Who disturbs my slumber? It is I, Gazim, a humble thief. Know this, only one may enter here. One whose worth lies deep within. The diamond in the rough. So, only one may enter. I must find this one. This diamond in the rough. God, I hope the mic caught all that, because if it didn't and it doesn't sound anything like him, I'm gonna be pissed! <laughs> Just saying. Fucking A, can every goddamn piece of shit be covered with... <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Disney's Aladdin. <laughs> um, <laughs> this game is pretty awesome, actually. Um, I'm not going to lie. I loved this game so much as a kid, and I continue to love it to this day. It's a pretty amazing game, to say the least. Um, the thing is, though, um, you know, actually, I wonder, is there a way to make hovering X? Yeah, but, uh, that's not good. Because as it with being it, you know, being as my R button seems to sometimes get screwed up a little bit. I don't know how well this is going to work, but that's okay. You don't need to hover too much in this game. But anyway, um, so this game um, came out forever ago. Um, let's see, does it have on here? No. I guess I'm going to have to look it up. But um, I used to play it all the time as a kid. Um, Oh cool, there's actually more than one apparently. Let's see. Oh yeah, there was one for the Sega. Okay, so here's some things that you can know about um Aladdin games. Um Disney's Aladdin was released by, uh, looks like three different companies. Actually, no, four. Um, maybe, I don't know. But uh, it was released by Virgin Games, Capcom, Sims, SIMS also is basically another way of saying it, I guess. And it says Disney's Aladdin and Nasasha's Revenge. I don't know what that is. But um, this one was developed... Um, So, Capcom still held on to Disney's licensing rights for Nintendo at the time of this release. 
Although the game is a side-scrolling platformer, it is significantly different in both presentation and gameplay. Anyway, um, the two games, I'm just going to spoil it because that's basically what I'm going to be forced to do now. Um, there was two games that I own now that are both Aladdin-based. This one is for the SNES, and it follows the story as close as humanly possible. While the Sega Genesis version, which I'm probably not going to play because of the whole audio issue, um, it um, kind of follows a separate storyline. And the thing about it is that, um, you know, there's this whole thing in the game where, you know, the story of Aladdin, if you've never watched the movie, is a young man who has to steal to survive, uh, basically, uh, finds himself on, like, this adventure, uh, after he, um, one day runs into a woman in, like, the marketplace, and, um, so, that kind of gave a unspoilerific thing, because you don't really know much from that, but basically, uh, the main character is Aladdin, and you play through his whole journey and the movie, pretty much. So, like I said, it's exact same storyline, maybe a little minor differences, as you saw, and of course, there was some things they couldn't animate on the SNES at the time, but they did really good with it all the same. And this was back in... Um, 19, yeah, 1995, it looks like. So it came out one year later than the Sega version, it looks like. No, actually, <clears throat> there was one that uh, came out in 1993, and that's the one for the Sega, and it was the Sega Mega Drive. <clears throat> that one came in 1993. This one came out two years later. Uh, looks like, if I got this correct. Of course, I'm using Wikipedia, so I may not be right. Oh, cool. There's also a PlayStation game. I wonder how hard it is to get your hands on this. Let's see. Um... What if I can find this somewhere? Wow. Um, to get it like brand new, it cost you sixty, almost uh, sixty-one dollars. You can get it used though for. Um, I might have to get this just to see if it's any good. <laughs> anyway, that's not important. Right now, let's get into this game, shall we? Um... <clears throat> okay, so, B to jump. Um... You have a lot of momentum in this game, so keep that in mind. Uh, for the most part, avoiding enemies is for the best, if you can. If you have to, uh, hit an enemy, do that. You just jump on them, typical, you know, Super Mario style. Uh, there are, like, little paths that you can deviate on if you want. And, like, little things that you can find in these, like, things like that. Bread, um, heals you for, I think it's one health. Uh, if you find chicken... <laughs> like, yeah, secret chicken, think of uh, Castlevania. Um, if you find chicken, that will... Um, let me see if I can remember. I don't know if you can get up... Yes, you can! Ha-ha! <laughs> um, secret chicken pretty much fully heals you. Now, as you saw, I picked up a red gem. In this game, you have um, different gems to collect. You have the green ones. I knew it, it doesn't work. Shit. Mm, let's see if I can force it to register. No. 
because you really need it for this. There we go. Aha! Anyway, I've just been like rambling for a while here. Oh god! Yeah, every hit you take, it's always one heart of damage, so try to avoid getting hit. The lamp is your one up, so try to get that. Oh uh, shit, that's bad. I'm probably gonna have to get another controller. <laughs> I have some. Well, I have one somewhere. I just don't remember where. That's going to be so annoying for you guys. I just know it. Shoot. Yeah, if you pull back, you can kind of do that jump if you're wondering. It's not always a good idea, though. Now, the reason why I'm trying to get up there, there's actually a red gem up there if you go. So that's why I'm trying to get up here. There we go. Aha, see? I do that every time. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Good lord, Michael. Um, what the fuck? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, basically, as you could tell, um, this, this game is probably going to be hard to commentate over. I'm not going to lie. But it's a lot of fun. There's so much stuff that you can do in this game. <laughs> uh, I will say this. Um, the first time I ever played this game, I'm not gonna lie, I had so much trouble with it. Here, you want to move up this a little bit. And, well, you're supposed to jump over it, but I forgot how it works, so I didn't do that. And then you just piss him off if you do. It's kind of funny. You can also uh, throw an apple at him, which you see I have 50 of right now because I barely use them. I never really found them to be that useful in the game. Because in this game, you don't really need them for anything except for like stunning enemies for the most part. Yeah, like that. And besides that, you're really not going to be using them for anything else. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. Ah, there we go. And then just come over here and BAM! <laughs> Very funny stuff there, you gotta admit. Uh, there's some gems down there, but you don't need them per se, so you can just uh, ignore them. I'm gonna grab that light because I know I'm gonna need that. Hold on to the edge here. There we go. <coughs> now, to get this red gem, you have to jump like that. So, yeah. No, I love doing that. That was one of the things I did as a kid so much. Basically, it's just possible to make it where um, Abu never gets to eat this apple at the end. <laughs> Fun fact. I'm surprised I have... <laughs> already down to like one life. This level, it's almost required that you have the, um, <clears throat> what do you call it, the cape thing. Because for a lot of this level, um, hovering is like required. Uh, that jar there just randomly gives you items. I don't know how you can determine when it's going to give you something. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Playing with a faulty controller makes this all the better, I must admit. <laughs> now, if you want really to just ignore those jars, you can. There's no reason for you to, you know, always try to get them to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, relinquish what's inside. Uh, it's only necessary if you absolutely want to. Um, you can get up there, but it's really hard, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. Because I think I'd have to be able to... Whoa, shit. I'd have to be able to jump from there and get it. Yeah, and I'm not about to do that. 
There is a reason why you'd want to get them all, if you're wondering, because you get a special uh, bonus thing if you get a whole bunch of them. But it's not necessary, so I'm not going to try my hardest to get the ones that are really difficult. Yeah! That's something you want to remember, is that if you jump off an enemy when you reach the end of a zip line, you'll get a bonus uh, bounce. Yeah! Anyway, my goal with this is to try to beat this today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Uh, this game used a password system back in the day. And, um, it did some pretty cool stuff with that. Um, your password changed, uh, slightly depending on what level you're on. But for the most part, it didn't really do a whole lot. Oh, and this fight is completely broken. So there's two ways to do this fight. You can just hide behind this barrel, wait for him to swing his sword, and jump on him. Well, not like that. Like that. And then just sit here. If you just sit here this whole time, he can never hurt you. Unless you fuck up your jump like I do all the time. <laughs> Since I haven't played this game in so long. <laughs> but yeah, if you just sit here, this fight is so simple. <laughs> As I get killed. <laughs> That's hilarious as shit. I'm not going to be uh, mad about it at all. Now, as you can tell, since I am very rusty at this game, I am going to be making all the mistakes, so don't worry. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? That's bullshit. Oh well. <laughs> I ain't too mad about that. Now, if you want to make this fight a little harder, you can actually use your, uh, well not like harder, but you can like actually throw apples at him and he'll do that. It won't actually damage him at all though, so, yeah. There we go, that's how you could do it. <clears throat> I think you can actually like stand right up against the barrel too. There you go, done. <laughs> Cuteness overload, and then you go. <laughs> okay, not really, but yeah. And you get your first password. So it's basically a Mega Man style when you get these passwords. Um, you can look them up online, so it's not like you really need to remember them. And if you get all the gems, um, it just says you get all the gems. It doesn't give you any bonus at this point. So anyway... Together, Aladdin and Jasmine escape the Sultan's guards and run to Aladdin's home high above Agrabah. <laughs> there, they enjoy the view and discuss their dreams for the future. Unfortunately, they are found by the guards, who drag Aladdin off to the palace dungeon and Jasmine back to her father. The Sultan. <coughs> Aladdin is thrown into the deepest cell of the dungeon. But all he can think about is the beautiful princess. Of course! A strange old man appears, offering to set Aladdin free if he'll come on an adventure to the Cave of Wonders. Glad to get out of prison, Aladdin doesn't suspect that the old man is actually Jafar in disguise. Now this was obvious in the movie, so if you didn't see it, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna pause the game here and then take a pause break. And when I come back, we will finish the second stage, most likely, and see what we come up with from there. Till then, everyone. Bye.